My name is Lucy Ikaru, and you're welcome to Spirit and Life channel, your number one gospel channel in Nigeria, West Africa, and the world at large. Here we bring you edifying messages that will help you build your spiritual stamina as well as aid your spiritual growth. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click on the notification bell so you're notified each time we drop more videos like this. Thank you. I'm trying to dodge the time, but the time is haunting me. That's why I left glory. Even this one is a body. <laughs> Five ways of praising God. Let me just list them quickly. Number one is through a heart posture. Before you ever start singing, before you ever start talking, make sure your heart is right. If your heart posture is not right, your singing is vain. Your activity all will not be accepted in the realm of God. So, praises does not begin with talking or singing. It begins with a heart posture of gratitude. That's how you prepare yourself to appear before the Lord. I already quoted for you Psalm 116 verse 12. The guy's heart was full of too much gratitude. He said, what shall I render to God? That's what informs the activity. He's giving resources. It's not enough. He's singing. It's not enough. He's dancing. Because the extent to which you can praise is actually quantified by your heart posture. A man whose heart is not right cannot go far in the journey of praise. And so the first way to praise God is a heart posture. Listen, you've got to prepare yourself. Sometimes sit down. Count your blessings. Tell yourself of the truth. I am here because of the mercy of God. I know I studied in Harvard. I know I work hard. I know I know how to do this business. But if God were not with me, I would not have gotten here. Prepare your heart posture to be grateful. See, don't just come around the house of God and be full of activity. Stop for a moment. How did I get here? How about the battle that I fought four years ago? Everybody gave up on me. How about the harassment? How about the embarrassment? How about the health crisis? What happened when I didn't have school fees to pay for my, my, my examination? Oh, I remember 15 years ago when I was being pushed out of class because I didn't pay school fees. Today I'm a CEO. So before your marketing skill, there was the mercy of God. Oh, how about the pain I was feeling in my heart that I couldn't walk four years ago? Where did the pain go to? The mercy of God. You have to prepare yourself. Sit down. Train your heart to honor God. Train your heart to be grateful towards God. Because if you are not careful... Even when miracles are happening in, your, happening in your life, you will no longer be conscious to become normal to you. But when you train your heart to be grateful, even the breath on your nostril will be a reason for you to always appreciate God. Teach your heart to be grateful to God. That's where praises begin from. All of us can be singing the same song, but the power of our praise are in different energy levels. Because it's not about the song. It's about the heart with which the song is sung. It's not about the kneeling down. It's about the heart with which you are kneeling down. It's too important. He said, men look on the outward. He said, but I the Lord, I look on the heart. A man can sing 50 praise songs. Very powerful. But his heart was not connected. Just singing because he knows the song. And he loves the melody. That's not a praise. It begins with heart posture. The second way to praise God is through utterances that pleases and glorifies God. Utterances. Hebrews 13 15. It says, by him therefore let us offer the sacrifices of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips. You must become very skillful in talking to God. One of the greatest power of priesthood is utterance. You must know what to tell God. And that's why sometimes you study the word. See, go and read the Bible. See the way the prophets of old spoke about God. Who is like unto thee, O God? There's none beside thee. Fearful in holiness. Glorious in praise. Doing wonders. Hallelujah. The guys, they are talking and you are wondering, how did they, they are so poetic in their communication. Because they, they are deliberate about what they say to God. They don't just talk haphazardly. They speak from the place of gratitude. So much so that it impacts their utterance. And a man is talking is like honey from his lips. Because of the way he can coin the word. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
of whom shall I fear? And you, you are, how, how do you compare God to light? That's praise. They know how to give glory to Him. And as God hears it, He is moved because He loves it. He said, All things were created for thy pleasure. And one of the ways you give Him pleasure, tell Him sweet things. So men become skillful when they start wooing a woman. You are the sugar in my tea. You are the only honey that is in my life. But when they come to talk to God, uh, Heavenly Father, we give you glory. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you see your husband, oh honey, how are you doing? You, you are saying sweet things. Even your voice changes. But when you come to God, Lord, uh, thank you. We are grateful for all that you have done. Praise your name. <laughs> be skillful, be poetic, be deliberate. See, look for the best words. Use them to glorify God. Use them. Let it become a deep intercourse and romance. So much so that it's sacred. That whenever you speak, God knows it's your voice. Why do you think he loved David so much? The man was a master. He was like a cunning artificial. He knew what to say and God will move. When David starts talking, God moves. And he said, it's the apple of my heart. I love this man. This man, I love him. When God speaks to David, he says, Once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard. How did you hear twice? Because this word is sweet to his hearing. He pays attention to obey. And when God hears such people, he's moved. Number three, how do you praise God? You praise God with a dance. With a dance. Don't be, don't, don't, don't be dry in His presence. Psalm 69 verse 30. He said, I will praise the name of the Lord with a song and I will magnify Him with a dance or with thanksgiving. I will dance before the Lord. I'm not ashamed that He made me. I'm not ashamed that I'm all I am because of Him. That's why I told you, even kings like David danced until they were naked. That's how you praise God. This thing is an act. And you must master it as a child of God. Have your own dancing step for God. Have it. And so, when it's God, you start dancing. Everybody oh, if he knows this one belongs to me. This one is my own. Nothing on earth can make him dance like that. Nothing on earth. Give, give God your own dance and let him know. I'm not talking about all this carnal worldliness. Where people go pick dancing from garbage, gutters. And they are coming to church to do it. I'm talking about something that broke out of your spirit spontaneously. Because of who God is to you. That's how you praise God. Finally, how do you praise God? Praise God through gifts and service. You know, some people think praises is just about singing. You can come to the house of God, you are a professor, but you are part of those who are the ushering unit. You are not talking, but God knows. That act of humility is gratitude to God. You are making a statement that I am nothing before Him. And everything I am, He made me. And when God sees it, He knows that this one is a praise giant. You will be shocked that in the church, those who praise more are not those who are singing. You are a billionaire, but you are part of protocol. And sometimes you are protocoling somebody who cannot have a job in your company. <laughs> and then he comes, he's acting like a big man. He says, yes, how are you, how are you? He says, oh, fine, sir. Fine, sir. It's not unto you, it's unto God. It's unto Yahweh. Fine, sir. He said, yeah, you are blessed, you are blessed. You know, this generation, this our young generation, the arrogance is much. You know, as we came to the airport today, mommy who came to pick us, I, I said, this one is my mother. But she came, mom, welcome, sir. And she, I said, thank you, ma. Help me, let me help myself. You are not okay. It's on to God. When they now introduce themselves, you now say, okay, sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> but that's how you praise God. When you come, put your portfolios outside. Put your title outside. Humble yourself before him. And don't just humble yourself. Bring a gift. Present it to the Lord. And when God sees it, he knows 
that you are grateful. Psalm 96 verse 8. Here's what the Bible says. It says, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his court. Bring an offering. Bring an offering. Don't just show up and they say, oh, they want to give to God. You say, what do I have here? No. Prepare yourself. This one belongs to God. Let it be sacred to you. It may not be much. That's all you have. The widow brought two mites. Jesus said she gave more. Because that's what her all, that was her all. And she gave it with honor. Prepare yourself. If it's hundred naira you have, put it in order. And give it like your all with honor. God sees your heart. And he sees that action. And to God is a loud shout of praise. And as you are doing it, the glory and the power of praise will just be manifesting in your life. And your life begins to move from one level of glory to another level of glory. And people can no longer understand you. How is he doing this? It's the hand of God. How is he moving so fast? It's the hand of God. Why is the voice beginning so attraction? It's the hand of God. Why is the company growing? It's the hand of God. I know I do my best in hard work. I follow principles. I do all I need to do. But the hand of God is there. And it's the hand of God that makes all the difference. Do you want to praise God for five minutes? You want to give God praise for ten minutes?